then here we should open the oracle applications here we log in what is our user demo 90 and password is 123456 click on login then so initially we choose any one of the navigation okay so first of all we enter into the executable window so not a problem we can choose any window we don't get any problem it is accepted so in this one first of all what is we find out what is our executable okay our executable is jpp 9 and use the ampersand control f11 here it is show us our executable choose the down arrow it is show us our executable so now i want to create multiple concurrent programs while using the same executable okay then very simple here just copy this short name or else we can directly find out in the concurrent program window okay close it and go to concurrent program window this is the concurrent program window so here yesterday we create one concurrent program right what is that jpp 9 right and is it this is our program so here observe this one can we possible to change this program name yes, yes. at any point of time we can possible to change the concurrent program name then here just say example i am using one this is my first first concurrent program save it okay now i want to create the another concurrent program while using same executable okay just here observe this one copy this one means name sorry and go to click on new then here i am giving second concurrent program second concurrent program then next go to short name so here we are giving any one any one it is accepted but it should maintain the unique one so here observe this one already i am using purchasing application here if you want to use the same application we can use it we don't get any problem but here i want to use different application so different application means i want to use the inventory inventory is one of the another application that next go to here we can give the same executable name same executable short name user response executable now we don't have the print and the style is here for now check it save the records have we created then automatically we created right once it is completed okay next i want to create one more concurrent program now uh, next i want to create one more concurrent program that third and here we can give the jpp9 prg3 application here i want to use order management i want to use order management it means a sales order department okay then next we can use any application we don't have any restrictions right but here short name of our executable then again we don't have print Style is F4. Save the records. Save the records. Once it is completed, once it is completed, now let us we are going to checking from backend. Okay, that is the very important. So here observe this one. We are giving the training techno functional, not a technical only. Technical I am giving hundred percent. Functional I am giving sixty to eighty percent. okay so if you if you go to only technical we are getting the job less chances okay whenever we understand front end access and front end process and back end process and we can easily to say the answers to any interview question that is the reason okay so which is the transaction will be done in front end means oracle application that is a front end activities which is the activities will be done from the 
store or backend any tools that will be called as a technical activities. Okay, now, let us we are going to checking from backend. Open the store. Then here. So what is the base table of executable? FND executable TL. Select start from FND executables TL. Here we find out our executable name. Where user executable name like app nine user as possible. So this is our executable name, right? This is our executable name. So here we have a executable name. Now you tell me what is the base table for concurrent programs fnd fnd concurrent programs tl tl fnd concurrent programs tl where here what is the link so here we have the link is observe this one we don't have any link actual link is executable id okay the executable id will be available in where concurrent programs here we find out the executable id executable id is the common column or is the primary link between executable and concurrent programs okay then here where executable id equal to that here we find out our executable 16298 now it is showing three concurrent program but here it is showing short names with the reference of this concurrent program id we can go to search into the concurrent programs tl we can find out the original concurrent program name clear so here observe this one now i want to go to assign one task to you the task means user okay user how executables user is created the executable under the executable is how multiple concurrent programs the respected designing the group is a different data model right there have you clear on that so here the way of designing is different okay already you done the query so okay again you can go to check it whether the query is retrieve the three concurrent programs information or not once it is picking three concurrent program information now we can go to design the layout in layout model means a report builder okay uh, paste the query in data model and design the layout i will tell you all of you